Shahid said his laundry business has been in survival mode since the last quarter of 2022 with low patronage due to high costs. The thought of closing the business has been lingering in his mind, but the young graduate has no option but to keep going. The rate at which taxes are being increased in this country is very, very abnormal. And it doesn't help with the beginners. Sometimes uh, I get discouraged. I get discouraged about looking at where I'm coming from. Uh, giving up is not, is not the, the, the option now. So I have to change to see the situation now. And then I'll pray for the best. With an 18.36 increase in electricity, Shahid will now have to buy power at almost 500 cities on a monthly basis from the previous 400 cities. The only thing that I will do is just add it to the cost of sales, uh, the cost of services here. Yeah. That's the only thing that I can do now. But it's not going to be easy. There are growing fears. Many businesses that rely solely on electricity may fold up with continuous increments in electricity tariff. For Muhammad Sulaimana, a fashion designer, remaining optimistic is the only way to survive. His cost of operation has already doubled, even before the electricity tariff adjustment. The government actually uh, encourage youth who have completed tertiary like us to engage ourselves in entrepreneurship, which we are trying our best to do. But with this kind of increment, it's actually making us lose hope in, in, in succeeding in this entrepreneurship. Running a business in Ghana is becoming frustrating, according to Alfred. The Baba is worried about the ceaseless increase in operational costs due to hikes in electricity. Already we are struggling to pay electricity bill, and now there is an increment. This will impact on us negatively, so if governments can reduce the percentage, it will be appreciated. It has become a daily struggle for most small businesses in the country as they battle with constant surge in prices of goods and services. For most business owners, adjusting their prices is the only way for them to stay afloat. For many business owners, they want government to put in place mechanism that will create a thriving environment for them so that it will prevent other businesses from folding up. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumasi.